you rebuke him joseph do you think on the earth me and your mother and your brothers will bow down to you he didn't believe what joseph said you see they they do not believe what god has revealed to joseph now the lord wanted to bless you today as you are listening this message my brother my sister whosoever you are whatever you may be your situation whatever the trouble trial problems people misunderstand miss you know miscalculate and they don't understand you they trouble you they hate you they they give you all kind of troubles do not worry look unto jesus christ turn to god today as joseph is faithful man only listening god only receiving the message what god is giving receive turn to god and there is change is going to come nothing the people that hate you and trouble you they can never control your life your lives in the lord's hand also were listening to me your life is in the lord's hand turn to him and bless him the lord will bless you and he will multiply your blessing he will turn it around every difficulties into blessing see that's what happened joseph life you know you think many time oh who can understand my trouble nobody understand even my husband even my wife they miscalculate me do not worry tonight today come to jesus christ and see him and turn your heart and he will bring the new blessing see what happened joseph joseph said two time they they do not believe instead they hate him even father rebuked him even parents they could not believe what joseph received the message from the lord today god is speaking in many ways many ways god is speaking you know but how many people believe how many person you believe do you believe or you if you do you accept what god speak to you do you receive it do you obey it do you follow it that's where the blessing comes you just go in this church and see to open your eyes there is something they are talking you don't listen your mind is somewhere else that's not going to be a blessing coming to you 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 will receive the blessing god has a plan purpose to hear this message to you there is going to be a change is going to come to your life there is no power in the world that can stand against the will of god and the word of god and the word of god what god reveals to speak to you has a power to overcome every situation that's the bible says that's what happened in joseph life the god is the same yesterday today and forever he is the god who was joseph and he made things possible the same god today will be with you and he will turn it around every evil which is against you we will turn it around and bless you and make you a different person do you believe that god wanted to bless you my brother my sister whosoever you are you have a sickness doctor said can give up the medicine cannot help you do not worry believe jesus christ and he brings the new blessing he turns around your life he will remove your bed and you will walk and you will be normal that's the power of god the word has a power even today hallelujah and they don't believe him they still keep hating him then then and and all of sudden and and uh, uh, and uh, joseph a uh, father said joseph go and look for your brothers and the and the and the sheep because your brother and went to take care of the sheep they cannot hear i didn't hear them for many months or um, few months so could you please go back and give them some food and take care of them and uh, bring me good news how they are doing how the sheep is doing and he still said he knows you know when the second time joseph bring the dream and tell the father and the brethren and the bible says father observed that even the brethren hating uh joseph so then that was a 17 years old boy joseph then then jacob his father said okay joseph you are not going anymore with your brother and stay back here because they do not like when joseph tell them bad life bad stuff they hate him when god is speaking to you when some people telling you you are wrong you need to be rectified you cannot mad because some people telling you are wrong if you are wrong rectify if you are not wrong do not worry do not hate the people do not hate the man of god and woman of god who brings the word to you change your life many people they do not want to admit themselves to the word of god many people they do not want to be humble and listen the word of god instead they hate 
they go against the word of God. What happens if we go against the word of God? What happens if this world is not believing the word of God? That Jesus, this God Almighty sent His Son Jesus Christ to save this world. If the people do not accept Him, the people do not accept the word of Jesus Christ, what's going to be happen? It's going to be turned into judgment. Jesus said, I come to save this world. I come to die for this world. But since we rejected Him, judgment will come. That's what happened in Joseph's life. In Joseph's life, because his brother never believed what God has spoken to him. You know, when God reveals something to somebody, you need to know to believe it and accept it. And another, I'm going to sh share you something else also on Joseph. When God speaks to you and how you will, how you, uh, uh, you need to also know whom to tell, whom not to tell, uh, when to tell, when not to tell. You need to know the timing. You need to see the people that whom you are going to minister to them or whom you are going to speak to them. They need to be ready. If they are not ready, you tell them they are not going to accept it. Instead, they are going to reverse it. You need to know the timing. You need to ask. God may reveal everything. What Jesus said, you remember in Matthew chapter 15, Jesus said, I'm not calling you uh, slaves, but I call you my friends. Why? I, because the, the slave will not know everything from the master. But I call you friend. Why? Because whatsoever I hear from my father, I tell everything to you. That's why he said, I call you my friend. It means whatever Jesus hear from the father, he wanted to reveal to his friends. Do you want to be a friend of Jesus Christ? He wanted to reveal to you everything. Is your heart is like God, so that God can share with you everything. God can reveal everything. But your heart is not right, your heart is wicked, your heart is in the sin, God cannot speak to you. You need to be honest and, and truly love God, love Jesus Christ. He calls you friend, my friend. He calls you my friend, so he wanted to bless you. Hallelujah. So believe what God speaks to you. You know, God has spoken even in the dream, you know. Joseph innocently told everything what he has seen in the dream. But Joseph do not ask God whether can I tell my parents, when I, can I tell my brothers. He didn't ask them right away. But he immediately excited. You know, sometimes God speaks to us. God gives the revelation. God gives the anointing, Holy Spirit and gift of the Spirit. And you are so excited and immediately blah, 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 you tell everything. No, you need to wait. Do not move on emotion. Wait upon the Lord and ask the Lord when to speak, what to speak, and whom to speak. And if you are going to speak to the wrong person, it's going to be reversed to you. You need to know, well, what happened? God revealed to Joseph, yes, this is what going to be your future. You are going to be a great mighty man, that the nation is going to come to you. Even your brother and sister is going to bow down to get the food from you. And I have given you that key in your hand. I have given the kingdoms and the, and the nations into the king's hand. But the blessing is only in your hand because I give you the key. That's what God chose to the, speak to the Joseph. And Joseph has only know how to deal in the problems. Not, not anybody. Even king cannot solve the problem. We need a man of God. We need a woman of God. Who has the, who has the key from God? Jesus said, I give the kingdom of key unto thee. Jesus said to his church, if you truly believe, and the key is with you. Even though, no, no, you know, even maybe a great nation, mighty nation, great leader, but they cannot solve the problem. Problem after problem in the nation. Even kings, presidents, they cannot solve the problem. Because they don't have the key. The key is with the man of God, who loves God. God gives them key. And you see that Egypt, and what happened, Joseph, they don't believe him. At last they sold him. He go to the Potiphar house. There also put the false uh, accusation upon the Joseph. Then they put him into the jail. There was, he was a 12 year in the jail. Then again, in the jail, there was a two young men who was working for the king put into the jail. And they had a dream. Two people had the dream. And they don't understand their dream. They, while well, they are talking and Joseph heard about that. And Joseph called and explained to them what is the dream. In the dream, uh, one man has been accepted by king, one man has been killed by the king. You know, Joseph's life is exactly a shadow of Jesus Christ's life. It, it, it's everything like Jesus. You know, Joseph's life is like a Jesus' life. 
You see, Joseph has been, you know, chosen by the, the special lovely uh, son that chosen by the father and father loved him so much. And also Jesus also loved by the father because father said, he is only my begotten son. Even when Jesus baptized and heaven opened the father God in heaven said, behold, he, he is the, my beloved son. I well pleased in him, he said. So father loved him so much. And also, Father gave him a special cloth. Jesus also had a special cloth. And they, they throw the Jesus into the pit. And they also throw the Joseph into the pit. And uh, they also sold the Joseph with the money. And they also sold the Joseph, Jesus with the money. And when Jesus died on the cross, and there are two, uh, two uh, thieves that has been hanging with him, they uh, killed them. But uh, Jesus, one believed in Jesus, and the Jesus kingdom and he has been saved, one do not believe and he has been forsaken. So the same thing happened in Joseph's life. In Joseph also when he was in the jail, there was a two servants from the king's palace. One has been saved, one has been destroyed. He is a lot of similarities uh, in Joseph's life like Jesus' life. So this speaks about the Jesus Christ. What I'm speaking about today, about Joseph, it's about Jesus Christ. So when God speaks to you, when, when Joseph received the message and people do not believe, parents do not believe, brothers do not believe, and the nations do not believe, instead they hate him, they, they re re rebuke him, and they rejected him. So what happened if you do not believe? Now, in the end days, God has spoken through his son. In those days, God has spoken through the Joseph, the beloved son of Jacob. Now, in the last days, God is speaking to you and me through the only begotten son of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is God's only begotten son. Now, God is speaking to you. Do you believe what God speaks to you? Do you need to believe? If you do not believe, listen what happened to the Joseph brothers and the father's life. <coughs> See that. They do not believe him. Then at last, they beat him up and they, you know, put him, they sold him up and then they, they take out his clothes out. They also took the Jesus Christ clothes out before they put him into the cross. So everything similar, similarities. And, uh, and, and, and now, and they at last they sold him, so they do not believe him. The Potiphar wife put him a, a you know a, a accusation upon him, which is not the truth. And he has been into the jail, but the, his our husband never believed him, so they put him in the jail. The king Paro never believed him. Nobody believed him. Everybody put him into the jail. Thank God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ also was rejected. Bible says in John 1.11, He come to His own, He won't accept Him not. And Jesus come to His own and, and you know, people don't accept Him. Today, Jesus Christ coming to you through this word, through these messages. So, so do you believe that you, Jesus will bless you? Do you believe that Jesus will save you? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior? There comes the blessing, there comes the, you know, change, there comes the breakthrough. You will see a different in your life. You will see that great change that comes into your life if you truly allow Jesus Christ to come to your life. And Joseph come to their own. They don't believe him. They rejected him. And Jesus comes to you today through this message to you. If you believe him, if you accept him, if you obey to him, tonight or today as you are listening to this message, there's going to be a miracle going to be happen to you. See what happened? Joseph brethren, that they don't do not believe him. So what happened? They throw him. And at last they said, uh, they took his coat and uh, kill a lamp and put the blood into the coat and take back to the father and say the Jacob, is it your, uh, do you know who is clothes? Oh, is it your son? Oh, this is my son clothes. Father cry. Oh, oh, it should be some wild beast killed your son. So we found this clothes on the way. So they, they went, they take show to the father and father cry thinking that Joseph has been killed by the wild animal. But actually it was not wild animal, those wild animal, those his brothers. That's why they, they tried to kill him. But anyhow, they try many occasions to kill him, but they cannot kill him. Now, you need to believe this. Whosoever you are listening to me, watching me. Whatever the trouble you are going through, maybe a king, maybe a, a case against you, an accusation against you. 
वट एवर इट मे बी इफ यू बिलीव टूडे गाड कैन चेंज एवरी एक्सेशन दट पुट अगेंस्ट यू जोसफ एंड पुट इट टू द लाइफ लॉन्ग इंप्रेशन लाइफ लॉन्ग नो होप टू कम आउट एनी मोर ही वॉज इन द डेंजर ही वॉज इन द प्रिशन फॉर ट्वेल्व इयर दैट कैन ऑफ हार्ड लाइफ ई गोन थ्रो but he never did bad but he believe god he received the message from the lord he accept the lord he walk before god right he never hate his brother see see if he hate you only you have problem even anybody hate you do not hate them back love them forgive them smile with look at them that's where the blessing comes you know this brother and they don't they cannot look at joseph face and talk to him because they have attractiveness hatredness and bitterness in the deep in their heart the hatredness and bitterness if you hollow into your heart you need to immediately remove that if people done against you do things against you speak against you written against you do not be hate them love them bless them because they cannot damage you they cannot bother you because you are under the god's control you are under the god's protection Joseph knew God is with him. Bible says his name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God be with us. How many people believe that Jesus Christ is with you? His name is Emmanuel. You need to walk with him. Walk right before him. Jesus will never forsake you nor leave you. He said I will never forsake you nor leave you alone. So God is with us. You need to believe that. Whatever the people and even government, even the department goes against you, do not be afraid. Joseph never afraid, never be worried of what things going against him. But he look unto God, who gave him that vision, who gave him that dream. Look unto God, who called him for this faith. Look unto Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Look unto Him, who has the power over every situation. No weapon that forms against shall prosper us. because this is the promise unto his servant if you believe him anything that works against you god will turn it around what happened they throw the joseph the brother and they took his clothes and throw him into the uh, in a uh, in, in a, a deep uh, and there without water he has to die there but god still works there and joseph thought this is joseph never complain even in that in that pit he never complain He never uh, say you brothers bad people. He never say anything. He just he know he's God. How many people know you are God? How many people believe that your God is control over your life? No one can even remove take one hair out of your head without the will of Almighty God. God concerns every each and individual man. Every man and woman, God looks at them. He loves them. Whosoever you are. you may not know that god today god is speaking to you my brother my sister please <coughs> come come believe jesus christ he take control of your life when people disregard when the world disregard when your own people disrespect but god respects you god loves you god is not going to treat you like your brethren treating you like your own people treating you like the department where the where you are working they don't treat you right